So let's understand the concept of scoping, because uh, this is going to help you understand all the components that are involved with Azure's Resource Manager. So what is a scope? A scope is a boundary of control for Azure resources, and it is a way to govern your resources by placing resources within a logical grouping, applying logical restrictions in the form of rules. Uh, and so let's now go break down um, what uh, these scopes are. And so the first scope we're going to talk about is management groups. And this is a logical grouping of multiple subscriptions, uh, just because you can have a lot of subscriptions in your account. And you might want a subscription to um, a collection of subscriptions to belong to some kind of domain. So maybe it's for development or business or uh, data sciences, whatever you want. Then you have a subscription. And this grants you access to Azure services based on a billing and support agreement. Um, so the idea is that uh, when you launch resources, you're going to choose what subscription to go under. It's just going to determine the billing okay, under that, um, things you're going to pay for. Uh, then you have resource groups. This is a logical grouping of multiple resources within a subscription. Then you have resources. This is um, the actual service itself, like Azure a Virtual Machine. And I just want you to know that we're going to revisit the scope when we go look at role-based access controls, because that's going to really help it uh, make a lot more sense. Okay, But uh, let's just go jump into some of these scopes in specific and talk about them a bit more.